importing a design. The file example is from Lucky Heart Designs Co. on Etsy. Click on Import, find the file, click on Open, click on the middle to move your file around. Okay, for all of Tanya's files, cut equals black, score equals red, engrave equals blue. I don't want this to cut on my example, so I'm going to delete that. I have my stands all cut separately, so I don't need any of these. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to separate this file because not everything will fit on one screen. Okay, what I'm going to do is make a rectangle the size of the board that I use. I'm going to make this board a standard Glowforge size, which in Lightburn is 289.45 milliliters high. And the width is 495.3. So this is my size board, and all these items are going to cut within that size. What you want to do is make sure that you delete that box before you go to cut it. For this example file, there's other items that don't fit on my board. I find it more convenient to save this file first. So I'm going to save this to fall tray one. I'm just going to put test so I don't mess up my other stuff. Then I'm going to cut this and I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to paste that in there so I have this for the second file. And I'm going to save this as fall tray two. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my recent projects to go back to the first page to show you that I need to delete that rectangle so that it doesn't think I'm going to cut it. Otherwise, I'll get a Y slop. I'm going to delete all my words off my file. These are just notes for you guys. And then I'm going to click on send to send it to the machine. 